Hello, I am John. And I'm Nancy. And we, we are, are J&N, J&N Travels. Travels. We drove from New Hampshire to Florida to Snowbird for the first time and would like to share our tips and advice from our three months down south. Our next video is about our stops for gas and rest areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, As we mentioned, we use rest areas along with welcome centers for power naps, but also they were very critical in giving us a break. Yeah. The obvious one, of course, is we had to stop for gas. Yeah. Um, We wouldn't wait till we were empty and we wouldn't fill it up when we were three quarters full. We would try to get down to just above a quarter and then Mm -hmm. look for the signs and pull off and get some gas. We also would use it as an excuse to pull over and get a big cup of coffee somewhere yeah, that late helped. at night. Yeah, that helped. Kept in the us morning. going. So that's the yeah. the two exceptions for pulling over before the car was at least half empty yeah. was coffee and also if we got that sudden urge we needed to get something to eat, a, a breakfast or to go mm-hmm. item, and we pulled off the road to get some food. Um, and our food was always at a quick, fast food because we didn't want to waste time. Yeah. Then we would make a point to fill up the car, even if we think one time it might have been three quarters. Yeah, full, one we just time topped like it that, off, yeah, right? Topped it off, right? So, and I guess the other time was just to stretch our legs. Yeah, the throat. Yeah, throat. that always helps to stretch your legs. That's for sure, because sometimes you get cramps. You know, yeah. you start cramping up. So basically, the rest areas and gas for for gas, mm-hmm. coffee, bathroom breaks, coffee breaks, food yeah. breaks, and just to stretch, right? Yeah. I can't think of anything else that we pulled over for before we got down to Florida. No, I don't think so, no. Okay, so that's our uh, theory on rest areas and gas stations. And remember, stay young and have fun.